Doc, did you see this? Did you see the? I hate to stop for a second, but did you see this report from a, a from the Texas Longhorn special team coach Jeff Banks? No, I, I have no. A idea monkey just... allegedly attacked and seriously hurt a young trick or treater last night on Halloween. The monkey's jaw apparently had to be pried off the small child. What? Wait, what? Yeah, so that was the first bit of the story that I heard. But then I kept reading some more about it. And, bro, I never know what to believe on. I don't know what to believe sometimes on. <laughs> Even if it's, quote, unquote, real news. I, I don't know what to believe anymore because all they spin things a certain way. Anyway, yeah, evidently a, a monkey... This guy puts out a tweet. It says, I'm hearing a report from a credible source that the Texas Longhorn special team coach Jeff Banks has a monkey who allegedly attacked and seriously hurt a young trick-or-treater the night of Halloween. The monkey's jaw apparently had to be pried off the kid. <laughs> I hope it's true. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that sounds fucking awesome. God, and I'm the heel. Come on. Okay, imagine, and then... Imagine that scene. So this came from a verified account, even though that doesn't mean anything nowadays. Also, additionally, and we're going to hand out a Rolex in a second. This well, The person the who tweeted thing. it says... It may be a verified account, but he misspelled the word report in the first line of the tweet, so... Also... The report goes on to say, I have no idea how this is possibly re a real story, but the Texas special team coach, new girlfriend, who had the monkey, is an exotic dancer named Pole Assassin, and her <laughs> monkey allegedly attacked a kid trick-or-treating last night. Pole oh, Assassin. That sounds like an Xbox game. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Pole Assassin Edition. He says, uh, "Let me repeat. I have no idea how this the VIP is... room, and you mastered the game." <laughs> <laughs> and they were trying to get somebody in Austin to fill them in on the details <laughs> on this and if it was real. And apparently, if this story, okay, no, no, that that's not confirming it. But again. The Texas special team coach's new girlfriend is an exotic dancer named Pole Assassin, and it was her <laughs> monkey who allegedly attacked a kid trick or treating. And there's also that they a had link the prior to her supposed appearance on Jerry Springer, where she's dancing on a pole here. This is pole tremendous. Assassin. Pole it's Assassin. Oh Jesus Christ! The monkey's on Instagram. There's a real photo. The oh, monkey. oh, it's Bruh. on every yeah. It's on uh, Sports Illustrated, Sporting News, Yahoo Sports. This is what real. The fuck. <laughs> the pet monkey <laughs> attacked a child in a haunted house on Halloween. I don't know if that part's true. This is ridiculous. Pole assassin. Like out of a fucking movie. <laughs> Somebody or commented Max Mac, Mac, Harper as Mac, a special teams coach at the University of Texas. <laughs> Bruh, the comments sometimes are are tremendous. Somebody said all gas, no breaks to Harambe's revenge. <laughs> Mac Brown would have signed the monkey as a safety. Harambe is reincarnated to right the wrongs of a previous life. <laughs> The animal is a white face. Mm. Chapa, ch C A. Google this. <laughs> C A P U C H I M. Oh, that's that's the monkeys that they had right. in um. Yeah, like, yeah, like that's the species. Capuchin or something like that. Yeah. 
It's named Gia, and it has its own Instagram account. Yeah, there's a monkey underscore Gia on Instagram, and there's a picture of a stripper in a thong with the flattest God. ass possible high five and the freaking monkey. You Thomas, can't make this up, bro. When she was a pole dancer known as Pole Assassin, who was featured on a Jerry Springer show. Oh, I don't. Lord. I don't even know if I. Does that get the Rolex? Let me clarify. Now I'm a white meat baby face. <laughs> I want to see what kind of monkey this is. Like it's if on it's the pole a... in the in that video uh, at the strip club. Th- oh fuck! Okay, uh, 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 that's the monkey from like uh, then from from Raiders of the Lost Ark and shit. The one that ate the poisonous uh, fig or whatever and 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 died. What the fuck is going on in fucking Austin? <laughs> lots and lots and lots and lots of drugs. Bro, this is this is tremendous. Pole assassin. D- d- the comments are just. Ah, oh, God. Does somebody? I want this monkey. I want to the heck the with Tiger seat. King. Netflix needs to get on this ace ace. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm watching a video. Yeah, th- th- there's the monkey. It's part of her act. <laughs> what the fuck? Everybody's uh, dirty. Oh she, oh, she gave it a dollar. Okay. Okay, let's... Uh, should we Did, continue the show now? I don't know. Wait, let's see. Pop us over there. <laughs> Rabbit, he fell down the rabbit hole. So, um, Doc, while Hopper is looking that up, who is your Rolex going to? I forget. Arn. Yeah, Arn for that last promo at the show. Any combination of us is better than your best combination. Yeah. You don't want to give it to the monkey? No. Not at all? What about Budro for coming back? I was close to Budro. I'm going to give it to Budro, and my reverse Rolex goes to Thunderbolt Patterson. They should have never brought him in. This is stupid, and it's going to get worse. Uh, Why can't he finish sentences? It's going to get worse, like I said. Hopper, who are you giving your Rolex to? I'm giving mine a pole assassin. (laughs) I want to see if she's on Instagram. I've noticed two people have tagged me in it. Mikey and DFW and Travis Range. You're the first two, so you get the credit for sharing this story with me. Um, both are patrons, so thank you very much. Tremendous story, Pole Assassin. 